So today we are going to, I don't even want to touch it. I don't even want to touch it. Hi everyone. Thank you for coming back so much for another edition of Food Fears Unleashed with Greg. So um, that's what this show's about. This is this can be our number one here. Um, I'm really, really leery about this one for a few reasons. At first, it sounded pretty cool. <sighs> now I'm not so sure. So today we are going to. I don't even want to touch it. I don't even want to touch it. Here we go. Today, you slimy. We're gonna do eel. Yes, um, river snake. Um, oh my, it's, it, it feels like a cold oh, sausage. And I'm kind of leery about how to um, clean it and all that kind of stuff. But hey, right? You live and learn. So, just in case, uh, I've got a backup plan. So we're gonna make, instead of just frying stuff up, I'm gonna give it a shot here. Uh, I've got some fresh prawns. We'll clean those and um, I'm gonna make kind of a, a, a dinner out of it, right? So I got some rice noodle. I've never cooked with rice noodle before. Uh, I got some, I'll tell you what, I don't wanna use the glove after I touch that nasty thing. I got some chilies. So, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna go on the whim and uh, this will be an adventure for you and I. I just want to tell you now, I apologize if I break down and cry at any moment. Um, this might turn out to be a huge flop, but it will, this video will be produced. And um, again, guys, thank you so much. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. I want to thank a friend of mine, Sean, for helping me out, sponsoring me. We went shopping this week. We had a great time and um, we got plenty of stuff for future videos so let's get dirty all right all right so i have the full arsenal out here i'm all surgically prepared for this operation um, since i don't know what i'm getting into i brought out my chop and serve my cleaver my large fillet knife sportsman and a paring knife and all for this little little guy here. So let's and <laughs> the dogs are here. So when I use the cleaver, I know they're going to go crazy. So you might hear some swearing. I apologize about that. That's just the old man in me. But I think what we'll, what the videos I've seen is we're going to keep the head on. Oh Lord, we're gonna keep the head on just a bit. Uh, let's use uh, a large fillet. So I know a good week ago these guys were swimming at the tanks in at the Kim Sung Asian Market. And again, I oh shit! I hope I didn't ruin that. Not getting paid by them. Um, they probably don't even want me to be affiliated with them. But um, it's just a, a cool place to hang out. Um, okay, let's see. I'm just going to keep slicing down the center. Okay. Alrighty then. Alright. Uh, sorry if this was graphic. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and just take off the head. Let's, let's do this. Let's... Okay. Cleaver. Here we go. You ready? Oh, shit. Missed. There we go. That's a good clean cut. <clears throat> Alright. Now, I've seen where they keep the head for flavor in their soup. Not doing that. I'm also going to take off the tail. There we go. Trash. 
trash. All right, now let's uh, let's take them over the sink and clean them up. Um, see what kind of surprises he holds inside. I'm gonna take a break, get this area cleaned up, and uh, we'll go to the sink for prep. Okay, so here we go. Let's find out uh, what's in this guy, what all we need to do. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Um, looks like I need to dig a little deeper in. It's like this, oh, turn the knife the right way. There's this membrane type deal. Ah, look at that, heart. That actually looks like a heart. Kind of reminds me as a kid when uh, the grandparents they had a feed store and they raised their own chickens and everything and and I tell people stories about it how we butchered them in the back well not me I was young but still quite kind of dramatic I mean you got a chicken with head cut off run down run around the backyard and then. Uh, that night he's sitting on your plate Let's put it this way when I was out on my own I didn't eat chicken for a long time Well, so it's been a little frustrating time. Um, I'm obviously not a sushi chef. So how about we take a break? Let's, let's get a drink, something to snack on. Let's take a break from what we're doing. So again, from the Kinsoon Market, how about some coconut milk? And then we're gonna chase her down with some shrimp snacks. If I can't butcher it, by God, I'm going to get some shrimp one way or another. So, let's try this. Let's see how much more damage I can do. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a first also. Okay, that's... That's going to be slow going there. Try it again. Ah, uh, smells like coconut. Which, yeah, obviously it would. Okay. Okay, um, so <laughs> I got that much and um, it's chunky. Well, so much for th that. Let's have a shrimp snack. Do some protein. Let's 
so this this is the original flavor um, made with real shrimp it is the Marco Polo brand one of the few items at Kim Sung that is all in English um, well and that's why let's get it up there for you it's made in California <sighs> So these are more or less a cheese puff. Can't go wrong with cheese puff. But they're good. Shrimp. Not salty like a Lay's and easy on the fingers, not greasy. Can't wait for you to watch Monday's video at the shop. Check this out. So, we are eating dairy and fruit for one. And then I'm having cha, cha hu. Um, it looks like a pickle, but inside the ingredients are pork, salt, sugar, fish sauce, which I've never heard anything good about, and banana leaves. I don't know if you're supposed to warm it up, um, which I probably will, buck 99. And then we're gonna chase it down with this right here. This is grass jelly drink. Um, only the best. They're, they've, they've did us a favor and gave us some English on it too. It looks amazing. It doesn't look much like a drink, but uh, we'll choke her down. So tomorrow at the shop we're doing these two and the uh, durian fruit. So. The colon is up for a surprise. Okay, so I got the shrimp deveined or depooperized, and I'm gonna tell you, if that is your job all day long and you're not a happy person, I understand. That sucks. Ah, that that so, okay. So let's uh, let's see how bad I can tear up some chilies. Again, they make make it look like cutting them up on TV is so easy. They look good, and you know they just take their fingers like this and they chop them up. Chop. 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 Oil is on and I learned previously not to have it cranked up high. So let's see what happens when I drop in my ingredients here. Oh yeah. That's what I want. Nothing outrageous. So, I'm just gonna let these cook for a bit. You know, fry it up, get them in the mix. You know what? Since it's my first time with eel, I might as well bread her up and fry her too. Um, maybe that way I'll be anxious for the next time we have eel, if there's a next time. So I'm just gonna dab it in the egg. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's been sitting in some uh, Oh, meat marinade. And we might even double dip these guys. Mm. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm not going to call it a flop yet because um, I haven't tasted it. But at least we got chilies and seasonings in there. And I apologize this didn't turn out as miraculously as I wanted to, but that's the whole point. You know, you try. Um, I bought an eel. It might feed an eight-year-old, and he may not even eat it because it sucks. So let's let's give it a shot here. Move this guy up. I did um, grab some dragonfly sweet chili sauce at the store. I mean, it looks amazing. So, Ooh. here we go. Got my sauce. I uh, got my eel. Ready? Food fears unleashed. Why am I doing this? That's good. That's good. Um, there's not a whole lot of meat on it, but what the heck can I compare it to? Um, man, I don't know. I mean, it's it's Chinese food, so it's covered in sauce and everything's good. But man, it's good. It's tender, very tender. I'm very surprised. Can you tell? Okay, try some shrimp. So, moral of the story is, don't count yourself out. I mean, again, anything fried is good, but this is good. Eel is good. Um, take a little dab here. And that's the whole point. I mean, it's not going to be perfect on the first shot. I just happen to be lucky every now and then, but this tastes amazing and granted it's dipped in sweet chili sauce doesn't hurt a darn thing so shrimp I haven't tasted any pooper shooters yet All I gotta do is try and there's my great uncle Tony from Sicily said uh, that's a spicy eel or maybe it's meatball I don't even have an Uncle Tony I'll see you next week doing the same stuff giving it a shot and uh, take care love you guys bye